Hello, I'm Matt Tyree at Trinity Animation. I'd like to show you the 3D Connection Space Pilot, a new and better way to interact with your computer. I'll show you how I use it in programs like 3D Studio Max and Photoshop, but it also has drivers to work in Maya, XSI, and nearly all other 3D applications. It also works with solid modeling tools like Rhino, Inventor, and SolidWorks. Let's take a look. Now the old school way to do this, of course, is to use the middle mouse button to move around in your viewport. You can pan it around, you can move in and out, and you can hold the Alt key to rotate. Now while this works, it kind of interrupts your workflow. Now the space pilot helps you out here. You can zoom in and out, you can go left and right, and you can go up and down very easily. You can even twist it around like that. I can even just go right up inside my object like this and just start moving around inside of it. It's kind of fun. Now, if I bring up this panel here and enable rolling, you really get a feel for the uh, six degrees of freedom that it allots you. I can go up and down, left and right, in and out, roll it, roll it the other way, and twist it. Now, as you can see, this panel here gives me lots of control over exactly how I move around in the viewport. I can define what my center of rotation is. In this case, it's the object here, this torus. So it kind of moves around the torus like that, as if it's its anchor point. I can also just change it to be the camera's own axis as a center of rotation. That's really kind of fun for like making a first-person type of thing. I can go inside here again. and. Uh, you can uh, in move the object around as well if you enable object movement. So now it's the object moving around rather than the viewport. Give it a little twist there. I can even enable auto key animation and what it'll do is sort of act as a motion capture device. It'll actually just generate keyframes once I enable that as well as push the auto key button. And so you can just kind of move it around like that and it'll actually just play back just the way I moved it. Now this lock to 3D view lets me be working in another viewport while still uh, maintaining my control over the perspective view here and I can rotate around in 3D uh, just sort of uh, being able to see everything from all angles while I work on it in a different viewport. Now that's helpful if you're like trying to adjust certain vertices and you want to see how they look or affect other vertices on the other side. I can also uh, increase and decrease the sensitivity here, uh, making it uh, go a little faster or slower as I deem fit. Another really useful feature of the Space Pilot is the ability to move around in the viewport while you're adjusting your UVW points. So let's say I wanted to move these vertices around to, you know, if I had like some stretching happening. I could uh, see where that's occurring and how I could fix it just by moving around while I'm adjusting it. So it's, it's nice to be able to free up your other hand while you're doing that. Okay, now I'll show you some of the useful features that the Space Pilot has in Photoshop. Uh, you can move around your image just by pushing and pulling on the puck here. You can uh, lift up and push on it to uh, zoom in and out. And by giving it a little twist, you can uh, actually change your brush size like so. So it's uh, pretty useful. It saves you the trouble of having to switch to the separate tools. It also fully supports the Wacom drawing tablets. One of the nicest features of the Space Pilot is its fully customizable interface. There's a series of hotkeys on the device here that you can remap to be pretty much whatever you want. So you can define your own hotkey sets, or you can choose from a list of a uh, number of pre-programmed ones. And the cool thing is it switches between them automatically depending on what application you bring up. So let's say I open up uh, Studio Max, automatically brings them up here. Or if I bring up Photoshop, it does the same thing. And it has compatibility with a number of different programs. Like if I bring up uh, Internet Explorer or um, you know Microsoft Outlook, and uh, there's a whole bunch of drivers and stuff that you can download from the website. So there's tons and tons of pre-programmed ones, but you can also just define your own by coming up here and entering commands, and that's just really nice for being able to have total control over what you're doing. And all the uh, commands and uh, hotkey sets that you have are uh, whichever one you have currently selected is displayed here on the screen of the device. 
Thanks for watching. Visit trinity3d.com and 3dinsider.com for more about the Space Pilot.